Claptrap, the main comic relief for the Borderlands franchise, is going to be playable in the soon-to-come pre-sequel title. My name is Sally111 and let's have a little peek of what he can offer us. Claptrap The Frag Trap is arguably the franchise favourite. First seen in 2009's Borderlands, Claptrap marks his return, but this time, he's playable. We first met him in the original, when the Vault Hunters were fresh off the bus in Firestone, and Claptrap was merely a genuine robot that helped the Vault Hunters along with tedious tasks such as opening doors and getting maimed by bandits. But in the pre-sequel, being a robot engineered by Hyperion, he is reprogrammed to aid the characters within the pre-sequel. In previous titles, he is portrayed as a damsel in distress, always getting into trouble or screwing up horribly, but in this game he actually looks like he can pack a punch and kick some ass. Claptrap's action skill is VaultHunter.exe. He loads the program and analyses the situation to decide which Vault Hunter would do the best job. VaultHunter.exe has many skills within it, obviously to combat as many situations as possible for Claptrap. Here they are. Torg Fiesta. This causes Claptrap, as well as teammates, to toss grenades uncontrollably. This skill does not cause you to lose any of your actual grenades, and you can function as normal. The grenades appear to fly out your body. Sadly, friend and foe can be hurt by these grenades. This skill can last up to about 8 seconds. In the Funzerker skill, Claptrap wields two guns, the one he's currently using and the next one in his inventory. You and your allies gain increased fire rate and bullet regeneration during the time that this skill is activated, which is roughly 20 seconds. When using the Gun Wizard skill, you and all allies gain drastically increased fire rate and reload speed. This skill lasts for around 20 seconds. The Laser Inferno skill allows you to shoot lasers in all directions at nearby enemies. You will need to get close to them though, and then give them a hail of shock, incendiary, and corrosive damage which will melt them away. The shh trap skill, as you could probably tell, turns you invisible and lets you deploy a hologram, similar to Zero out of Borderlands 2. Unlike Zero though, you will be able to stay invisible during the whole skill even if you shoot or melee. The one shot wonder skill uses every shot in your clip at once and combines all the damage, so if you're against bosses, it could come in handy for a critical or something. Clap in the box lets you digistruct a giant bomb that hurts everything around you when it explodes. The rubber ducky skill gives everyone in your team rubber duckies around them and they will bounce uncontrollably around the environment, which is a very good time to take advantage of the new slam attack in the pre-sequel. You'll also be able to reflect bullets whilst this skill is intact. Minion Trap allows Claptrap to spawn a mini Claptrap with rocket turrets, which is very similar to Axon's turrets. This mini Claptrap can last up to 15 seconds, and it could be very useful for distracting enemies' fire. The pirate ship mode turns Claptrap into a freaking pirate ship, and yeah, you guys can shoot the freaking cannons. That sounds awesome. The Mecha Magician skill is a weapon buff that comes at the price of losing accuracy. Claptrap also regenerates health, which can definitely help you out when firing tons of bullets blindly. Well, you can't have that bad accuracy and being able to see perfectly fine. Right? When using the Blight Bot skill, Claptrap is shown with Siren Wings. This looks and most likely acts like Maya or Lilith's Blight Phoenix skill. And last but not least, Meat Unicycle, which Claptrap has a Meat Unicycle built for one. He can only use melee though, but he does get a boosted melee damage when riding it. These are all the skills that you'll mainly be using as Claptrap, the Frag Trap in Borderlands pre-sequel. If you've got any questions before the upcoming title appears on your store shelves, pop it down in the comments below. Make sure to drop a like, drop a comment, and subscribe if you've not done so already. My name is Stally111. See you guys on the next video. We got a moon to save.